Good day, guys. I came with good news. I came with a job which I I I stumbled on today. So I said, let me share with us so that we can apply to this job. And then I'll be coming also with more jobs so that when we see them, we apply immediately as they keep coming. And then also I'd like to advise something. You, you are working in a field as electrical engineer, as electrical supervisor, electrical foreman, or an electrician. So when you see a job title as such, make sure that you go through the job description and make sure you do your own research on or pertaining to that job description so that while you prepare your CV, you prepare pertaining to the job description and then you submit so that you can get the job. This is very important. So don't focus or lay your, your attention only on the particular job description that you've been working and you keep applying only on that particular job. So you might see a job saying, electrical QQC engineer, electrician, electrical technician, electrical engineer, electrical inspector, electrical supervisor, electrical foreman, go in for the job. So go through the, 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 the description of the job and make sure that you prepare your CV and submit for the job. Before you have an interview, you'll be able to defend yourself during the interview. And then also if you have any doubt or anything that you're facing, put it on the, the comment section so that we keep addressing them so that we best improve on the way that when we are going for an interview, we know how to defend ourselves. This is very important. So this job says, we are hiring electrical PW, PTW holder, Messiah PTW. So the duration is three months and they said it's extendable. Guys, let's go for this job. Then they said the first point was, it's um must have a valid Messiah PTW, valid H2S and must provide us NOC for PTW change in English. And then Messiah get pass valid expired needed. Then WhatsApp your CV to this number as you can see on the screen. And then also email on this, uh, looking at this uh, email address. So you send your CV either on the email address or on the, the WhatsApp number as you can see on the screen. Guys, like I said, when you see a job, description of your job title, make sure that you do your research and then prepare your CV, apply for the job. Then also make sure that you beef yourself by prepare or by preparing yourself for the interview. Do research and keep doing the research until the day that you get for the interview and defend yourself and get a job. This is for those that are in Qatar. So I'll just give a highlight on what is permitted to work so we get to understand what is it. We might be working in the field, we don't even know maybe what is permit to work, but we have been requesting for permit to work. Permit to work is a safety procedure with a formal document that specifies the type, scope, location, and duration of activities to be carried out. A permit to work also identifies the potential hazards involved in the activity and the measures to be taken to control them. What is H2S. H2S is hydrogen sulfide. It's produced naturally from decaying organic matter. It, it can be released from sewage lodge. We have as well liquid manure and sulfur hot springs and with natural gas. It is also used or is a byproduct in many industrial processes such as, so I'll start listing all the different industrial processes. We have the first point, which is petroleum production and refinery. Number two, we have sewage and uh, wastewater treatment, agricultural silos and beads, textile manufacturing, food processing, hot asphalt, paving, and then mining as well. So do your further research. So keep doing the research pertaining to the job description that you have prior to applying for this job. So that when you prepare your CV, you prepare it in such a way that that moves according to the job description of the role which you're asking for. So we now move to the health hazard. So we have hydrogen sulfide gas causes a wide range of health effects. Workers are primarily exposed to hydrogen sulfide by breathing it. The effects depend on how much hydrogen sulfide you breathe in for how long exposure to a very high concentration can quickly lead to death. So this is the reason why they, they need 
like for facilities as such, they require that we need a, a permit to work, especially that will come on the field, make sure that when the want to commence with any activity, they come to you straight away so that they apply for the permit to work prior to proceeding with a set of activity in different areas. So that when you give the permit to work, it gives them room now to proceed and start carrying out that activity on that side. I think we'll stop here. So guys, let's go for this job and prepare our CVs. If you have any comment, just put in the um, comment section so that we will discuss it together and also to best improve on the way that we prepare our CVs as well as the way we, we, we carry out research in before going in for a particular job. This is very important. And stay tuned. And until then, you're watching Macogan Enterprises.